Hey, good morning. Yep. Jesus is Lord. The devil is defeated. Thank God the word works. We are talking about Resurrection Sunday. I, I, I got this revelation this week. I believe that everything that God put in the word is for my benefit. So you study it out, you find out what's in it. You look for it, you figure it out because God's got something to say to you. So I'm going to say something to you today. When Mary and Martha went to the tomb to check on the body of Jesus, the angel was sitting there and he said, he that you are seeking, who that you're looking for is not here for he has risen as he said. Now on the cross, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, it is finished, but yet it wasn't completed yet. I was reading this the other day. It says, all of the grave clothes was thrown over to one side, but the face napkin was laid to one side. Now, one translation says, neatly folded, laid over to the other side. I've looked at that for years. Thought, well, you know, what, you know, what does that have to do with anything? Well, you see, the Holy Ghost writes things for my benefit, your benefit. So here's what I found out. In the tradition of those days, when a man was eating his meal, the servants stood off to the side, and they couldn't come in and bother him while he's eating, unless he called for them. Well, when he finished his meal, he, he folded, uh, he would use the napkin, wipe his face, clean his hands, make sure his beard was clean, wad it up and throw it to the other side. But if he needed to get up and do something, he would fold the napkin very neatly and lay it over on the table. That said to the servants... I'm not through. I'm coming back. So when Mary and Martha went in to see Jesus, the body of Jesus, they saw that face napkin that he had taken and folded and laid to the side, which says, I'm not complete. I'm not through yet. I'm coming back to complete what I started. Woo, glory be to God. Several things on that that I want to get you. He knew he had to go to hell to get the keys to death in the grave. He knew he had to preach to the captives there that was in paradise because they couldn't be with God either until he completed that job. He had to come back, go through the earth. They brought all those saints with him through the earth. He had to go to heaven to spread his blood on the mercy seat to complete the work. So when he said it is finished, it wasn't completed, but he was working it. So watch this. He not only said that it is finished, but he folded that napkin and laid it down so that anybody that would see it would know, I'll be back. I'm coming back to complete the course. Woo, hallelujah. So Jesus constantly said and acted on what he believed that he was going to complete the job. Now, maybe maybe you hadn't got that yet. I'll, I'll bring that out again tomorrow because I want you to get that. But listen, that means that he was planning on coming back to complete the job. Hey, watch this. I am part of the body of Christ. Okay, now I've turned the church over to my oldest son, Mark, doing a great job. He's my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased, doing a super job. But I'm not through. I'm not retired. I got a lot of things to do. Several things that God has shown me in my life, prophetically and other things. I'm not finished with them yet. Well, watch this. He folded that napkin and laid it to the side and said, I'm not through yet. So if you got some things that you know God's told you that you're going to do, hey, don't give up on it. Jesus is going to complete the task that he started in you. He that began the good work in you will perform it. So I got good news. Jesus ain't through with us yet. Jesus is not through with you yet. He's going to complete the job. He laid that thing to the side to say, I'll be back. So maybe you've had a tough week or a tough month. Maybe it's been a tough 10 years. He'll be back. He'll complete it. He's not through yet. Give him that opportunity. Remember today, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.